Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat here, and today I decided to do a new video. Uh, recently, maybe since last December, so not so recent, uh, I have been practicing working on altered art for Magic the Gathering, and some of it has turned out like better than I expected. Uh, right now, I'm working on a soul ring, and I think it turned out really well. Uh, you'll have to watch to the end or just skip, you know? But altered art has become a passion of mine, honestly, and I hope that I can get better uh, each time or learn something new. Uh, but all I did for this card is just use black and white paint. And I had some water on the side, which you can't see because I just wanted to focus on the card, but most of it is letting the card dry at first. Um, and it's okay if you mess up the card in a sense of going over something that's important because later on I'll show that you're able to get rid of your mistakes. So right now I'm blackening the card and that way you just have your soul ring. I'm still working on mixing the paint with the water because it can't be too liquidy and it also can't be too much of acrylic paint. So finding that perfect balance or the right mixture is really important when it comes to painting the cards. One of my favorite altars is a forest I had done, and it's on my Instagram if any of you would like to check it out. Uh, I don't have a video for it, but I think so far it's my favorite altered art, or the uh, swan song. That is also on my Instagram. Right now, I think I'm working on the the white paint. I'm cleaning the brush so I could have it just white and not have any black paint mess with it. I thought I could use the toothpick, but strangely, I ended up getting just a lot of white paint, more than I should on the brush. And there's just this little, I guess, needle that was left on it and I was able to just use that so I had too much paint on there but there was just a little peninsula I guess and I was able to make some tiny stars with it and sometimes of course there was too much paint and I put too much pressure on it and there just looks like it looks like there's just a glob but I made it work and I added a bunch of little white dots to insinuate that there are a bunch of stars in this galaxy or wherever it may be. If any of you guys are interested in more videos like this, please let me know. It's a lot of fun. Oh, right here I actually, I messed up. I put the white dots inside the soul ring which I meant to do but it was just more globby than I would like so you can literally just wipe it up with a, a napkin or a paper towel and it will come right off uh, but back to more videos like this just please let me know if you have a request or hopefully it's a card I already have you know I play Magic the Gathering, specifically Commander, and so Soul Ring is a common card. I believe I'm just letting it dry right now. 
Okay, now I'm cleaning up the card. Uh, so, like I said about those mistakes, like maybe I got too much black paint on the actual soul, soul ring title border. I'm able to just lightly scratch it away with a toothpick. And so I can bring back the actual border I covered. Now, I still need to work on actually... I guess that mixture I was talking about earlier, because when I go to show the actual card, there's a little bit of paint, I guess, residue left over, and I'm not able to scratch it away because it's like now in the card, permanently. So I still need to work on that, but I was really happy with how it turned out. This is actually my second time working on a soul ring. So, I'm taking off the tape, and the back actually looks pretty good. And I'm getting a Pro Fit sleeve and putting that on. And I'm taking it back off because I missed a little bit of the... I don't know what you'd call it. Maybe the shimmer off of the ring. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. A uh, peace.